okay students today we are going to see the another model this is mainly for the development of pancreas of course you are seeing that developing stomach if you go down you will be having developing duodenum already you know that stomach is derived from foregut your duodenum is derived from partly from the foregut and partly from the midgut so now if you see this model so you are able to make out the pancreatic buds actually pancreas is derived from two endodermal buds so this is smaller one is ventral bud the larger one is dorsal bud actually these buds are getting originated at the junction of foregut and midgut so already you know that this is your stomach so this is your part of duodenum derived from foregut so this part of duodenum is derived from midgut so at the junction of foregut and midgut we have the formation of pancreatic buds so this one is called as dorsal bud this is larger one located in the dorsal mesentery so this smaller one is the ventral bud so this is the junction of foregut and midgut at the same site we have another endodermal diverticulum that is called as hepatic diverticulum so this is called as hepatic diverticulum this gives rise to liver as well as your extra hepatic biliary apparatus actually if you take this diverticulum so this part is called as pars hepatis giving rise to liver and the your extra hepatic biliary apparatus this part is called as pars cystica that is giving rise to your gall bladder even though this model is for your development of pancreas you should be able to tell about the other things also now what happens to this ventral and dorsal pancreatic bud so rotation of your duodenum and fixing on the right side we have the rotation of your ventral pancreatic bud coming to the dorsal aspect and it is getting fused with the dorsal pancreatic bud so here clearly you are able to make out the duct system also so this is the duct of your dorsal bud this is the duct of your ventral bud once it is coming to the dorsal side we have fusion of that ventral and dorsal buds at the same time we have fusion of the duct system also now we should be able to tell which part of pancreas is derived from this ventral bud so this ventral bud gives rise to uncinate process and lower part of the body of pancreas remaining all parts of the pancreas are derived from dorsal bud your upper part of the head neck body tail everything is derived from your dorsal bud that's why larger bud is uh, sorry your uh, ventral dorsal bud is larger at the same time as i told already we have fusion of the duct system also so if you see the development of your pancreatic duct so you already you know that you have major pancreatic duct and minor pancreatic duct now if you see the development of major pancreatic duct it is mainly derived from the duct of your dorsal bud then the communication between the your duct of dorsal bud and ventral bud this communication next this part of the duct of your ventral bud joins to form your main pancreatic duct so development of main pancreatic duct means so this part of the duct present in the dorsal bud this communication and this part of the your duct of ventral pancreatic bud fused to form the main pancreatic duct that is opening into the second part of duodenum through major duodenal papilla now the this part of duct of the dorsal bud degenerates that will be small in size that only forms your minor pancreatic duct so that minor pancreatic duct opens into the second part of duodenum through minor duodenal papilla that's why this point is important always the minor duodenal papilla will be at the higher level your major duodenal papilla will be at the lower level so this is the reason for that okay so that is the development of pancreas so we have ventral bud and dorsal bud so during the rotation of your duodenum the ventral bud 
rotates to the dorsal side and fuses with your dorsal bud. So we have fusion of these two buds as well as the duct system. So the ventral bud, as it is small, it forms only the uncinate process and lower part of the body of pancreas. As your dorsal bud is larger, it forms upper part of the head, next followed by neck, body and tail. So that is the development of pancreas. If you go to the duct, so major pancreatic duct is mainly formed by this part of the duct of your dorsal bud. This communication between the dorsal and ventral bud. Next, the duct of your ventral bud. Fused to form our major main pancreatic duct opens into the second part of duodenum through major duodenal papilla. So now this part of your dorsal bud degenerates so reduced to small in size forms your accessory pancreatic bud that opens through the minor duodenal papilla so that is the development of your pancreas as well as the duct system another thing as i told already this is the developing stomach from the your foregut this is your part of duodenum so this part of duodenum is derived from foregut distal to this opening of your major duodenal papilla it is derived from midgut so this is your hepatic diverticulum pars hepatica forming your liver pars cystica forming your gallbladder so next one is actually this is the anomaly of your uh, pancreatic development this is called as annular pancreas so what is that annular pancreas if there is any defect in the rotation of your ventral bud that leads to a condition called as annular pancreas. Already you know that annular means ring like. So the pancreatic tissue is surrounding the your middle of second part like a ring. So that is called as annular pancreas. This is due to defect in the rotation of your ventral bud. Usually you will be having right half and left half of your ventral bud. In this case right half rotates in normal pattern your left half rotates in reversal pattern that's why we are getting this annular pancreas this is a congenital anomaly as it is encircling the middle of second part that leads to obstructive symptoms you will be having projectile vomiting so that is your annular pancreas okay thank you